Hello friends, welcome to another session of video tutorial on API testing using SOAP UI or Ready API. So this is part 7 of this series. In this part we are going to cover data driven testing using Excel. Please subscribe, like, comment and share the videos on this particular channel. If you have any training inquiries, please contact me at techtraineraj at gmail.com. Okay. To subscribe, click on the subscribe link and then hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. So let us open up Ready API. So I have deleted all the previous projects. Uh, please watch all the videos prior to this before watching this part. Uh, I'm going to create a new project. We use the API definition here. Okay, I'm going to use this DNE online calculator example again. Okay, I specified the visual location. Click on next, and then I'm going to deselect all of these assertions. Click on next. And then I'm going to have multiple test cases. Select finish. Okay, close this confirmation window. So, again, so this time I'm not going to have uh, SOAP 1.1 version test cases. I'm going to delete all of them. So this time I'm going to take SOAP 1.2 version. Okay, delete test cases, delete. Okay, so here in the earlier videos uh, we used to add the values directly here that is hard coding the values okay so instead of hard coding the values so how do i get these values from the excel sheet so that is what the topic is for today's session okay so currently under add request test case i have only one request which is add request so select the test case right click on it i'm going to add a new step and i'm going to select the data source okay so i'm going to call this as excel data source okay click on okay Okay, it is going to ask me create data driven loop based on this data source and configure test step automatically. Okay, say yes. Okay, the request uh, test step is add a request. Click on OK. Now, there is a data source available now and then data source loop which loops through the the available data as a data source you can provide the following things okay one is data connection data generator directory excel file grid groovy jdbc json and xml okay, i'm going to select excel okay i have created the data here okay so the data I'm, i have prepared is i have added the the description here this is test data for add web service so i have created some seven test cases here so this is the header test case name num1 and num2 are the headers test case 1 contains num1 as 10 20 so these are the data for each of these test cases okay so this is my sample excel file which i have created and i have called it as data driven dot xlsx okay so this is the one which i'm going to use it for this demo okay click on browse okay go to the location where you have saved this select the file okay do you want to import the properties let's say yes clear all exist existing properties say yes okay now this is the important part so it is going to look for import properties okay here i need to provide the worksheet name the worksheet name which i have given is test data okay so let us add the worksheet name start at cell a1 so in our case it starts at 
a2 not a1 so this is where my test case starts from so it is a2 okay so instead of a1 i'm going to give it as a2 okay so now i have test case name num1 and num2 values Okay, so if I run, I should be getting all the data. Okay, so test case name is TC1, num1 is 10, num2 is 20. Okay, I got all the data here. Okay, worksheet name I'm going to provide again here as test data. And this is A2. Okay, so now go back to our test case which is add add request. So here instead of with this default value, I'm going to delete the default value and I'm going to add this data which we get from Excel sheet. So right click on this int A and select get data. So from Excel data source, I'm going to select num1 okay and the same way for the second integer value i'm going to get the data from excel data source and then num2 click on add we have added the data source and the data part here so let us run this particular test case Okay, so it is fetching the value from the Excel sheet and it is running all the tests. So if I go to transaction log, now I can see all the request and response. Okay, from the result you can see that all of them have passed. So there is no single figure. At the last, so if I go back to this add request, the last uh, request had the values 70 and 80. So the last request had 70 and 80, so I got 150. Select this test case, go to step by step run, and then and so you'll get the test steps here. So first step is uh, retrieving the data from Excel data source and adding that data and then looping through so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a breakpoint here i'm going to click on this box here to put a breakpoint run this okay so it is going to run step by step okay so if i want to see what was the request okay from here what was the data I can select this Excel data source and, uh, and then click on the test step which is add add request. So if I go back here, okay, so now you can see that number 1 has got 10 and then num2 has got, has got value as 20. So if I run this request now, okay, I'm going to add this step. So I need to go to response now. So I can expand this. I can see that the result is 30. Okay. So I can also go to the next step. Again, I got 20 and 30. That is the second row. And then once I execute this request, I should be getting the value as 70. Okay, so I need to click on this response again. Okay, I got 70. So this is how you can debug the data-driven test also by going through step by step. If you have any issues, then you can always go back and check step by step run by debugging it. Instead of providing Excel sheet, you can also provide a grid so here you can also provide 
the data here inside the grid say for example test case one so i'm going to have one and two and then test case two three and four add some values eight and nine here so i can also enable and disable some of the some of the test cases from here okay so let us go back to our test case and run this test okay let us stop this first okay and go back to our test tabs so this time it is going to use the even though it is using excel data source but it is using the data source as grid and we have provided some values here so if there are some test cases which you need to disable so you can disable them through this grid here so right now it is going to take test case 1 test case 2 and test case 9 so let me add this test case 3 as well so 6 and 7 but i have disabled this so when i run this i should be getting only test case 1 test case 2 and test case 9 so let us go back to our test case and then I run all of them okay so it ran all of them if we go to transaction log it ran up to so 0 1 and 2 so that is three times okay <clears throat> so what is the final value which I got which is 17 which is 8 plus 9 which is 17 okay so it didn't run test case 3 so this is how you can use excel data source or the data source and data source loop to loop through and perform data driven testing there are other data source you can also make use of uh, currently what i have covered is only the grid and excel for your data driven testing Okay, so this is how you can do data driven testing using data source and data source loop. Okay, that is the end of today's session. Thanks for watching. Please stand by for more videos on this channel.